The situation we face is clearly very serious, perhaps the darkest moment of the pandemic. The virus is out of control. Over a million people in England now have COVID. The number of hospital admissions is rising. Tragically, so are the numbers of people dying. And it's only the early days of January, and the NHS is under huge strain. In those circumstances, tougher restrictions are necessary. We will support them, we will vote for them, and urge everybody to comply with the new rules. Stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. But this is not just bad luck. It's not inevitable. It follows a pattern. In the first wave of the pandemic, the government was repeatedly too slow to act. And we ended 2020 with one of the highest death tolls in Europe and the worst hit economy of major economies. In the early summer, a government report called preparing for a challenging winter warned of the risk of a second wave, of the virus mutating and of the NHS being overwhelmed. It set out the preparations the government needed to take. I put that report to the Prime Minister at PMQs in July. Throughout the autumn, track and trace didn't work. SAGE advised a circuit break in September, but the Prime Minister delayed for weeks before acting. We had a tiered system that didn't work. And then we had the debacle of the delayed decision to change the rules on mixing at Christmas. The most recent advice about the situation we're now in was given on the 22nd of December, but no action was taken for two weeks until Monday of this week. Mr Speaker, these are the decisions that have led us to the position we are now in. And the vaccine is now the only way out. And we must all support the national effort to get it rolled out as quickly as possible. We will do whatever we can to support the government on this. We were the first country to get the vaccine. Let's be the first country to roll out that vaccine programme. 